off again. Going to meet up with Dave Brown. Just said, uh, let's pick a spot, a spot in the UP. And uh, now we're going to make it happen. It's just that simple. In all our travels, one place that we haven't explored is the Upper Peninsula, the UP. That land that lies north of us and is very seldom talked about in the musky world. Why? We're not sure. The reasons, well, they could be many. So we just had to see for ourselves. Life of a musky guy right here. A quiet little campground close to the landing would be base camp. This would be the perfect setup for the next couple days. Day one would bring in overcast skies. The night before, we had heavy downpours. And yes, cold front conditions. Oh guys, it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna make some coffee. It's been misting all morning and that's the toughest to film in. So we're just kind of waiting it out and we are gonna get rolling here pretty quick, get on the river. In the last couple years, cold front conditions, well, we haven't favored well. So all we could do now is hit the water. guys I'll tell you what major cold front conditions major I mean we're talking probably a 20 25 degree temperature change from a day ago and um, we're on new body of water it's all about exploring for us and this is a river that uh, has been on our radar for quite some time and Dave and I just said let's let's do it and we went up and so far within a mile we've moved three fish already and um, it's just a matter of time until they go off we're going to keep at it here but uh, we got to put an icon down on this fish but cold front conditions throwing a little bit of rubber and this is a cool bait by very underutilized bait is the shallow dog 
we're, we're working really skinny water and to get up over the rocks and the weeds, the shallow dog is really designed for that. It's got awesome hang time and you can always tell them by the hole in the fin. That says that it's an unweighted dog. This is a regular size dog. They have a mag dog also in this, but so far this has moved a lot of fish. It's just a matter of time. We thought that one was gonna eat. But again, cold front conditions, slow things down, a lot of glide baits, a lot of hang baits, things that just hang and pause can really pay off big time for you. And that's what we're banking on. But uh, we're gonna swing around. She was pretty hot. We're gonna go back on that fish. It didn't take long before we had action. Yeah, you could say we were off to a good start. Now, all that was left to do was hit this river hard for the next couple days. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great clips, it's gonna be great. One lucky winner will be picked to fish with the guys from Keys Outdoors. The winner will win some awesome fishing gear and a $100 Quick Trip gift card. Just log into your Quick Rewards app, click the sweepstake icon at the bottom, then choose the Musky Adventure sweepstake. Every Quick Trip visit you have could be an entry. The more visits you have, the more chances you have to win. Good luck, and we hope to see you in our boat. We only know one thing, we never stop. You can't stop. This fish, well, it won't let you stop. It decides. We, well, we just have to be there when she does. the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. As the day moved forward, the action stayed with us. A couple of fish to the boat was just what we needed to keep our head in the game. How big day? He must still be here. He's bubble. Go down deep with it once. Yeah, this is a blast, dude. I absolutely love exploring new water. Look at that. That's a nice fish, man. Very nice fish. Let me grab the net here. I'm gonna walk it right to the back of the boat here. We'll cut all this out. <laughs> Into the bag. Yeah! 
That's what I'm talking about, baby. This is what we live for. Dave and I are in heaven right now. I mean, this is what we live for. Never been here before. Look at the scenery here. I mean, just wilderness adventure trips, guys. Are there huge hogs in here? There may be, but there may not be. But this is fun. And when you can put it together, never going here. And Dave was talking about mixing up lures. I said to Dave right away, I said, Dave, I said, we've been seeing fish. I'm gonna put a little more heat on the dog. Rip, pause of super hard rips, create that reaction strike. And it wasn't forecast, four pumps later, boom, hooked up. So right on, let's take a look at this girl. There we go. Fish number one of the trip. This is our fifth fish that we've seen today. A couple of them much bigger than this one right here. So very cool. The smell of muskie is in the air. And again, you know, what a dandy little fish here. Nice. And already she wants to, she wants to go. Yeah. I gotta do a little slime time. It's not a monster by any means, but it's our first on a brand new body of water. Dave and I have never fished before, so we're jacked up. We've got two more days all today. We got three days total to fish this, and we are in a major cold front right now. I'm talking crazy cold. As you can see, we're all bibbed up. We got our jackets on. The sun is trying to peek through. It's supposed to get nicer. I mean, five fish already, and we've been out for three, four hours maybe, one in the boat. You gotta be happy with that no matter where you're at, but back to work yeah. off of that. So he says, no, <laughs> big egos. This far, okay. Oh, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, he hit it too, didn't he? He came up and nipped at her. <laughs> With a constant change of lures, trying to figure out what lure presentation these fish wanted, rubber, bucktails, glide baits, cranks, topwater, Dave, he pretty much tried them all. I, on the other hand, I was switching between a shallow invader and a shallow Ocean's dog. really rocky in there. There's one, there's one. He just went away. Oh, bugger. That was a frickin' nice one, dude. That was a four footer. That was a four footer. You think so? Yeah, 45. Yeah. It was a big fish. A good one. Came in hot. Oh, he just. Turned one time and went shooting back this way. Ten fish today. Ten fish today. Just picked up the swim swim dog, the smaller size one, and just raised the fish on it right away. It came in hot as can be. Turned one time and just did not go, guys. That's kind of. It would take us roughly four hours to make the drift from the top to the dam. So our plan was to do one more drift down and we should finish up at the dam right at dark. Make a meat, bud. There he is. That's a 40 inch fish. Oh yeah. So that there was a bummer. 
raised our first decent, probably about a 43 inch fish. And uh, we've been talking about switching it up all day, guys. And I just switched over here to a Chad Chad. This is the wood body ones. They also make them in plastic, but the wood body ones have this aluminum lip on them. Um, it's really a cool body of water. I mean, it's got a lot of wood, it's got weeds, it's got rock, um, and it's got a current that's moving at about a half mile an hour. So a nice clip along so you can really work the shoreline. And that's what we're doing. So we're gonna fish it out and see what happens, but uh, we're gonna head off the water right at dark, uh, cook up some food and uh, get some really much needed rest. Nice. Our second fish, day one. Nice little musky here. <laughs> it's always a uh, when Dave and I are fishing by ourselves. It's always a challenge. Oh no! Oh, come on. That was my fault. I should have gave her. She wanted to run a little bit and I should have gave it to her. That's the way it goes, man. Son of a buck. <sighs> On blades, junior cowgirl, gold. They love gold in here. We're finding that out. Copper, gold. But, God dang it. That was my fault. All right, guys, that's a wrap for us. Day one, we've seen a bunch of fish. Uh, Mike caught one, lost one right there at the end, but uh, wasn't a monster. We're not gonna we're not gonna cry over spilt milk on that one. But uh, we got a ton of batteries to charge. Get back in here early tomorrow morning, and uh, boy, we're having a good time here. And like uh, like always, exploring new places. That's what we do, and uh, that's what this one's all about. Another missed opportunity. Otherwise, a great day on the water. Tomorrow, well, it couldn't come soon enough. Day two would start out partly cloudy, but the start of a warming trend, a completely different day than the day before. We would start off making the slow run to the top, or what we name the top, or start. All right guys, day two, back here on the river, and uh, you know, it's a whole different day. Uh, yesterday we, we moved uh, probably about 12 fish, cold front conditions, which you generally don't move a ton of fish in them cold front conditions, but we moved a lot of fish yesterday. So we're hoping today things are gonna change and we've got a change of weather. We're back in t-shirts, it's warm, things are warming up and uh, we're hoping that the fish action's gonna warm up as well. Mikey. He 
nice little fish here. Well, let's keep this one pinned. Sitting right behind that rock ledge there. All right, on the shallow dog. I'll tell you what, the shallow dog is a perfect tool for this, guys. I lost him last time. Not today. Fish number two. One got off last night. I'll tell you what, Dave and I have been grinding it. We're looking for big fish. We don't know if they're here. I mean, we know there's gotta be some, but we got whole different. Yesterday was major cold front, 20 degree, 25 degree difference. And now we've got bluebird, warmer weather. So we were like, where are these fish? Are they in the deeper holes? Are they on the edges? And that one was actually on the edge and it was so bizarre. Right when I threw the lure out, there's a pump sucking water up somebody's irrigation thing and i thought would a fish sit there next to that noise sure as heck boom nailed her a lot of these little guys beautiful little fish though these grow up to be big ones beautiful markings on it sweet fish number two and let's let her go back here you know you want to treat those fish right yeah so fish number two like I said one got off last night it was a little nicer fish than that but again the shallow dog is a perfect tool guys for this you know it rides so high in the water column and when you pull it it's got that when you pause it it just it just sucks together it's really cool the tail just sucks in and it makes it hard for fish not to eat it so shallow dog shallow invaders bucktails top water it's all perfect for this scenario small rivers skinny water um, we're gonna get back to work here it's about noontime and uh, we've got a window coming up here from noon until about uh, two o'clock so we want to make sure that we're in the deeper holes as we work our way down and uh, we get some more fish but fish number two There he is. Huh? Oh, he's oh, yeah, there. there he is. really kind of lazy this one came in hot thought we were gonna get it to go I circled a bunch on this, this bait team rhino custom neat thing about this uh, guys is the team rhino one carries a little extra weight in it so it rides down a little lower in the water column and 
you know, I've raised a couple of fish here now in the last hour, so is it making the difference? I hope it's going to make a difference on a fish here pretty soon, but didn't make the difference on that one, but we just keep on rolling because they are moving. We've been out for quite a while, and this morning we weren't moving fish. And Just be aware of your uh, surroundings, I guess. Uh, we get that thing come up on us quick, right over the top of, you know, you're inside a little river like this and came right in and it was quick and it was a good one. It would take us roughly four hours to make the drift from the top to the dam. So our plan was to do one more drift down and we should finish up at the dam right at dark. Light. Yes, light work. I just switched this bait. Just switched it. It's a Team Rhino Color Swim Dog. Check it out. I'm going to show it to you in a second. But I literally casted it three times. We saw a big swirl right here by the dam, and bingo. We got one. Fish number three, buddy. Fish number three. We needed it. We worked hard all day. Honey, where is it? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna get the bait out of the net after, but what an awesome little fish. Hey guys, I'll tell you what. Go out and get yourself on a river for some action. We have seen some nice fish. We're gonna be back in here tomorrow. Uh, seen a couple in that 45 inch range, a whole bunch of these guys. I mean, these guys will keep you going, keep you happy, but uh, we've had a great time. Another new river explored, and we really did like what we've seen. The UP, well, that's a special place that has a lot of musky water to explore. 